All right. Hello. Good evening. Good afternoon. Um, we're going to read a Dr. Seuss. Uh, Miss Marsha is all uh, read out today, so I'm going to read. Um, it's from Yertle the Turtle and Other Stories. It's by Dr. Seuss, The Big Brag. The rabbit felt mighty important that day on top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on the hill that he started in bragging. And bragging is like um, when you're, well, bragging is to talk about yourself and think big of yourself. Um, like I have beautiful hair or something like that, you know. But he, he started bragging as animals will and he boasted out loud as he threw out his chest. Of all the beasts in the world, I'm the best. Oh, on land and on sea, even up in the sky, no animal lives who is better than I. Ooh. And there he is, up on the hill. Oh, boy. <laughs> What's that? growled a voice that it was terribly gruff. Now, why do you say such ridiculous stuff? The rabbit looked down and he saw a big bear. I'm the best of beasts, said the bear. And so there. <laughs> Oh, boy. You're not, snapped the rat. I'm better than you. Whoo, the bear snorted. Again, I say, poo. You, you talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit. That's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, thought the rabbit. Now, what can I do? He thought and he thought. Then he finally said, Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so keen and so sharp and so fine. No ears in the world can hear further than mine. So see his big ears? Oh, he does have big ears. Hmm. The bear grunted. He looked at each ear. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer. But how do I know just how far they can hear? <laughs> I'll prove, said the rabbit. My ears are the best. You sit there and watch me. I'll prove it by test. Then he stiffened his ears till they both stood up a high, and he pointed straight up at the blue of the sky. He stretched his ears open as wide as he could. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat, and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. And there's his big ears. He stretched them up high. Mm-hmm, he's ready. <laughs> But for seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred and he said to Bear, Do you know what I heard? Do you see that far mountain? It's 90 miles off. That's pretty far. Mm -hmm. There's a fly. A fly. A small <laughs> fly. There's a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. <laughs> now, now the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear when he's 90 miles off, but I heard it quite clear. So you see, bragged the rabbit, it's perfectly true. That my ears are the best, so I'm better than you. A far off mountain over there. He heard a fly cough. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. The bear, for a moment, just sulked. As he said, that means he kind of pouted. For he knew and he thought. For he knew that his ears couldn't hear that like that. This rabbit, he thought, made a fool out of me. Now I've got to prove that I'm better than he. So he said to the rabbit, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, but how far can you smell? I'm the greatest of smellers, he bragged. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. My nose can smell anything, both far and near. With my nose, I can smell twice as far as you hear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Mm -hmm. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear, and he stuck his big nose way up in the air. He wiggled that nose, and he, and he sniffed, and he snuffed. He waggled that nose, and he whiffed, and he woofed for more than 10 minutes. He snapped, and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I smelled far enough. And there he is smelling. <laughs> All right, said Rabbit. Come on now and tell me exactly how far is this smell that you smell. Oh, I'm smelling a very far smell, said the bear. Away past that fly <laughs> on that mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond. 600 miles more <laughs> to the edge of a pond. 
And way, way out there by the pond you can't see is a very small farm. On that farm is a tree. On the tree is a branch. On the branch is a nest. A very small nest where two tiny eggs rest. Two hummingbird eggs. <laughs> Only half an inch long. But my nose, said the bear, is so wonderfully strong. My nose is so good that I smell without fail that the egg on the left is a little bit stale. And that is a thing that no rabbit can do. So you see, the bear boasted, I'm better than you. My smell is so keen that it just can't be beat. Oh boy. <laughs> oh gosh. What's that called a voice? From way down by his feet, the bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now, boy, said the worm, you've been bragging a lot. You both think you're great, but I think you are not. You're not as half a good as fellow like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? Oh. Now, I'm here to t now I'm here to tell you, tell here to prove to you, big boasting guys, that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. And there he is, that worm. Oh, look at that little worm. He's an old worm. Uh-huh. Imagine he's pretty wise, too. Uh-huh. And a little old worm cocked his head to one side, and he opened his eyes, and he opened them wide like this. And then he looked far away with a strange sort of stare, as if they were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of the worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. <laughs> That's enough, growled the bear. Tell the rabbit and me, how far did you look and just what did you see? Look at him watching him with his eyes wide open. <laughs> That's funny. Well, boy, said the worm answer. That look that I took was a look that looked farther than you'll ever look. I looked across the ocean, way out to Japan. Oh, no. For I can't see, I can see farther than anyone can. There's no one on earth who has eyesight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China. <laughs> I looked across Egypt, then took a quick glance across two countries of Holland and France. Then I took, then I looked across England, and also Brazil, but I didn't stop there. I looked much farther still. So he's looking around the world, basically. <laughs> Ooh, it's going all world <laughs> and I kept right on looking and looking until I looked around the world and right back to this hill and I saw on this hill since my eyesight so keen the two biggest fools that have ever been seen <laughs> and the fools that I saw were none other than you who soon have nothing else better to do than sit here and argue who's better than who Oh, <laughs> I guess he showed them. He did. Uh -uh. Pretty wise, old worm. Then the little old worm gave his head a small jerk, and he dived in the hole and went back to his work. <laughs> That's a great story. It is. It is. We have more. Uh, we'll be reading each day this week. Um, come see us at the library. Have a good day.